the back. Oh, I see. Thank you. Can you all hear me? Got the mic right? Okay. So, topic here, I'll keep it short, I'll keep it to the point. The topic here is all about um, designing high availability. You know, you're all familiar with the VMware vSAN technology. Yeah, we want to extend that vSAN technology that's predominantly focused for the data centers down to the remote branch offices. And, and I also wanted to introduce in the same breath the UCS E series. Are you guys familiar with the UCS E series? Anybody? You? Yeah. Sure you haven't? Okay, that's good because I have somebody to talk to you two. And all these guys, you know, I've paid them to be here. All right, so before I get to the UCS E series, I want to quickly introduce the portfolio of platforms that we have. We have platforms all the way from the 800 series uh, routers over there and all the way up to the 4451s. I'm really excited here to share one more thing. The person who's sitting right here, he's in charge of the 800 series, all that platform right there, he's in charge of it. This person here is in charge of all the 29 and 39 and the 4451 platforms. So these guys run the business. For the purpose of our discussion here, I'm focused on the UCS E-Series blades, and they're pluggable in the 2900 and the 3900 and the 49, 4451 platforms. So this is a quick hardware comparison. We've got different, different blades of the UCS E-Series. They differ in specs in terms of number of cores, the amount of memory it supports, the amount of hard drive it supports. So depending upon your needs, you could pick one of these different blades. For example, our EN120S supports two cores, and our UCS E160D supports up to six cores. These are all single socket systems. They're all meant as a branch server. Um, they can go from storage from all the way from like 500 GB up to two terabytes of storage. Remember, these are meant for your branch applications. Do you guys have any branch uh, deployments? You do? Roughly about 50 branches, 100 branches, 25 branches. How about you? Do you have any branch deployments? Okay. But if you have a distributed environment of branches and you have, you know, you need routers to terminate your WAN links there, so you might as well put an ISR router and you need compute at those branches anyway, right? There are applications that you want to run uh, for Cisco applications, third party application, WAN optimization, so forth. You'd rather have them all running as virtual instances on a UCS E-Series server plugged right into that router. So that's a UCS E-Series. Uh, just that's one of the two form factors that we have. This is called a SM form factor. It can go up to uh, 16 gigs of RAM. It's powered by an Intel E5 processor. So this is your Xeon class, a Sani Bridge, and Ivy Bridge processors, right? Uh, these are hot swappable hard drives that can go up to two terabytes of storage. We can support any version of uh, you know hypervisor on it, be it uh, VMware, be it Microsoft, any one of them. It has its own dedicated Ethernet ports. There are one in the front, two at the back. It's got its own dedicated management port. You can use that for a whole bunch of you know bringing in VM traffic. Uh, do you know, management traffic and so forth. The 160D is a bigger cousin of the 140S. Uh, it's basically can go up to six cores. Uh, it can go up to three terabytes of storage. Very powerful in terms of memory. It can go up to 48 gigs of RAM. And idle for all your branch applications. So that's a solution that I want to show you. Are you guys familiar with the ISR routers? Are you? Um, this one is our 4451 platform, right? For those who are not familiar with our ISR routers, think about this platform as a chassis. It's on this chassis where you can plug in a blade in, like a, like a server blade right into that chassis, right? So that's the server blade over here. Do you guys need think about in a branch you need networking, like switches, switch ports and so forth? You don't have to put an external switch, plug that right into another slot over there. You want to terminate your WAN links, don't you? Be T1 links, Ethernet ports, MPLS trunks. You have onboard SFP ports to terminate them. If you want voice services, you have different interface cards, T1, E1, T3, interface cards for voice services. So this whole box replaces a rack full of equipment. You've taken care of your networking, you've taken care of your security services that runs on these boxes, you've taken care of your unified communications, 
you're taking care of your application hosting. It could be anything from here. It could be WAN optimization, it could be security applications, it could be third party applications. Run all that as virtual machines on this blade. What else can you ask for? So that's the list of app, you know hypervisors and OS and everything just for your reference that we do support. Is there anything missing in there? Probably not. You stick KVM is kind of already there. You know, you just install Red Hat Enterprise Linux or one of the different flavors of Linux. It's already there. Right. That's important. We always talk about support. How much is going to cost me to support a blade at a site, and when I multiply that by hundreds of slides. The support contract on those blades are zero. You don't pay anything for support. Why? Because when you buy that chassis, when you buy that router platform, you already pay for support for that platform. We extend that all the way to the hardware modules in there as well. Be it switch ports, be it your servers, it's automatically covered. So you save a lot of money when you start deploying this across hundreds of sites. The hypervisor. If you buy ESX hypervisor from us, you know, pre-installed on the blade, the support for that is also taken care of by the SmartNet contract. So you don't pay anything from a support contract as well. If you have a separate licensing contract with VMware, that's perfect. We honor that. We let you install any version of hype, you know, ESX version on it. There's no restrictions on that, except the support won't be, con you know, so it won't be part of the SmartNet or the ISR support. If you wanted to manage this. Just like any other server that runs ESXi, you would manage it using vCenter. You pull in all the different hosts and all the different locations, and you can have one view for all these different blades. Questions? You, sir? Any questions right there? You good? All right. So let's talk about HA, right? So I give you an introduction on the platform, I give you an introduction on the blades. But what happens if one of those blades goes down in that remote location that you have? So that's where the VMware vSAN technology comes into place, right? If we have the capability on our platform to support up to three nodes, you put cluster all those three nodes using the VMware vSAN technology. We've tested with them. We've partnered with them. So even if you lose one node, you have the ability to fail over between all the other two. Your data is protected. Your VMs are there. You just have a matter of turning on your VMs from vCenter and you're up and running. This model is what I call the inbox. You have all those blades or those servers in one box. What if you had multiple boxes? You can still do the same technology. You can still use vSAN to create those clusters across different physical chassis. There's nothing that changes there. They can be logically different, you know, they're logically, they're still the same set of units. They're just physically separated. Right? So what, what do people use these blades for? They have a bunch, you know, it depends upon your vertical that you're in. Maybe you're in the hospitality business. Maybe you're in the retail business. Maybe you are in a different business. You still have branches. It doesn't matter what business you are, even though I've broken down these applications based on verticals, you'll see that they are common across different verticals, right? For example, I'd say virtual desktops, we see them over here in the financial, you'll see them in healthcare. If it's point of sale, yes, that's very specific to retail. Physical security, they do spread across retail, they do spread across financial as well. These blades are there meant to host these different type of applications and still providing redundancy with the with the uh, VMware vSAN technology. The CPU was not in a position to take advantage of That's all I had. That was a short, sweet presentation, wasn't it, sir? Was that good?